So over the last six months, my Instagram has grown by about 10,000 followers. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about some ways that you can take some of the learnings that I've gotten over the last six months to apply to yourself and grow on Instagram in 2020. Let's get into it. Yo, sub squad, welcome on into the channel. My name is Kyle Meshina and I'm a landscape photographer and filmmaker based here in San Francisco, California. I make photography and video tips here on YouTube, so do consider subscribing if that's something that you're into. Now, before we get into today, I want to make things crystal clear. If you came in here for some magic hack or silver bullet, you have come to the wrong place. However, there are a lot of things that when paired with some fresh content can take your Instagram account to the next level in 2020. And speaking of keeping it fresh, I have an important announcement today from the sponsor of this video, manscaped.com. Listen, this is pretty important in the same way that you wanna keep your content fresh, you also wanna keep your balls fresh. And I tell you what, the Perfect Package 3.0 is actually the perfect package for your package. The main attraction is the Lawn Mower 3.0 with its ceramic blades known as skin safe technology to prevent any of those manscaping accidents. It's waterproof for use in the shower. It's got an upgraded 7,000 RPM motor, a quick charging dock for quick and easy access on the countertop. And it's also got an integrated light so you can see what you're doing. I thought this was a little bit of a gimmick at first, but let me tell you as a fair haired man, it is pretty important to see where you're going down there. So whether you're looking to trim up your chest hair or kind of clean up things down there, I really think the Perfect Package 3.0 is the way to go. And with the Perfect Package 3.0, you not only get the Lawn Mower 3.0, but you also get the Ball Toner and the Crop Preserver. It's anti-chafing ball deodorants that keeps your junk from smelling like funk. I certainly highly recommend checking out the Perfect Package 3.0 and a huge thank you to Manscaped for making this video possible. So to get 20% off plus free shipping on your Manscaped purchase, use promo code MESHNA20 at checkout. The link will be in the description below. All right, diving into the three main takeaways that I've learned over the last six months that can really help you grow your Instagram in 2020. The first of which is collaborating with people who push you to be better. Now, I highly recommend that you make legitimate friends with people online. You support their work, you give them constructive feedback, you actually engage with them because you are being genuine. Do not just disingenuously ask for a collab for clout. That is not what I am recommending here. Support their work, ask them if they wanna go shoot, and do not expect anything in return other than just making a true friend. You will learn from one another, you will push each other to be more creative, you'll help each other see angles that you have not seen before. You will actually grow as a photographer, which is the most important part to growing on Instagram. Not only that, but you are naturally going to be hanging out with one another and you will therefore be cross-pollinating your audiences. You'll tag one another in photos, you'll tag one another in stories. And again, you're doing this naturally because these people are your friends. As you start to develop some very strong relationships with some of these people, I highly recommend asking for very constructive feedback to help improve your photos. I do this with my friends Seth and Ryan, and they critique my photos and help me tweak them so that I can be a better photographer. All right, tip number two for growing on Instagram in 2020 is to utilize all of Instagram's new features. This could be stickers, this could be Instagram Reels, this could be stories, this could be Instagram TV, whatever it may be. If Instagram is putting it out as a new feature, they want you to use it. When they are putting out these features and they're asking you to use them, they are going to give you a boost in the algorithm when you do use them. For example, Reels as it stands now is a new feature that is directly competing, maybe ripping off TikTok. Instagram is pushing this because they want to get more people on the platform. They are inflating views by giving it more exposure and therefore bumping it up in the algorithm. So Instagram is disproportionately favoring this content. You should be disproportionately favoring the creation of this content as well. And I hope that this particular video can be a little bit more evergreen. So Reels might be the thing for now in the same way that Instagram TV was potentially something to test out previously. Uh, but these things will change and evolve over time. So if you're watching this in the future, whatever the new feature is that Instagram is pushing, I highly recommend trying it because you will get a disproportionate amount of viewership and you will also just sort of flex your creativity and try to find new ways to think in a new creative constraint. And the third and final tip for growing an Instagram in 2020 is to give everything to your community because honestly, that is the only way to really truly build a community. And again, we're not going for quick and easy hacks here. We are going for actually building a community on Instagram. Instagram is 
full of beautiful images from beautiful places from very talented people. So how do you stick out amongst this sea of awesomeness? Well, you either have to be able to stand out amongst that sea of awesomeness and be even more awesome, or you have to be able to give something to somebody that they haven't really seen before. And one way to do that is to show people how you do what you do. I used to think that the only thing that I could do for creative success was to have some secret special sauce that I held really close to my chest. But the truth is, is the more that I help others, the more fulfilled I am and the more that people are willing to build a community of like-minded people around me. So that's why I started showing a lot of behind the scenes content. That's why I started showing all of my settings. That's why I started showing all of the editing tips and walkthroughs that I put together for each of my shots. That's why I started doing things like Instagram Live to answer questions on the spot to help build up the community around my page. I want my Instagram to be a place where people can learn and grow together to become better creatives. So at this point, I don't hold anything back. If there is something that I have figured out, I am super quick to share it in the same way that I have just gotten 10,000 followers in six months and I'm trying to give you guys all the secrets so that you can get there as well. There is no limit to the amount of creativity out there. Someone else's creativity is not ever going to be a hindrance upon yourself. So let's go ahead and bring others along with us during the journey. So that is it for today's video. I hope you got some tips and tricks to help yourself grow on Instagram in 2020. If you did like this video, go ahead and play thumb more with the like button. I do make a lot of other similar videos like this. So if you did like this one, potentially check out one of my other ones. Subscribe if that's something you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.